We could use the old road from Omi up through Fort Camino Dake. Only problem is it's held by Mongols. We need help to drive them out. I know some hunters camped on Mount Sago. Their leader's named Takashi. Friend of yours? No, but he'll do anything I ask, and his men are good archers. While you're meeting them, I'll slip through your uncle's castle. Meet our friends in Omi. Lead them to strike the fort from the south. I'll attack from the north with your hunter friends. You think it'll work? Yes. Be careful, you know. You too. All right. We got to go over to a camp in a specific prefecture. We'll do what we got to do. So previously, we stormed into Castle Shimura. We were able to retake that castle from the clutches of the Khan. We gave it back to Jin's uncle, but unfortunately, the way how we went about it, Lord Shimura was not too happy about it whatsoever. So therefore, we've been exiled from the majority of Tsushima Island. Therefore, we have to be holed up at Chogagu Temple. But now we got to figure out exactly how we're going to be able to freely roam around Tsushima Island again. So that way we don't end up being exiled from it once again. Alright, I'm not sure if it's up here. But we will see. Okay, it is up here. Takeshi. You know my name? I'm Jin Sakai. You know sent me. She's alive? Where is she? The Mongols blocked the pass to Omi. I have to open the way and I can't do it alone. You know told me you can help. <laughs> Sounds dangerous. I thought you were an expert hunter. Leader of the best archers in the prefecture. Is that what Yuna told you? She thinks you care enough to fight. Is she wrong? About me? No. But my people need a reason to risk their lives. It's going to be a cold winter. Why spend it on a mountainside hunting squirrel when you can live in a warm fort? If we can stay till spring, we're in. You have a deal. This won't be like hunting wild boar. Come over here and you'll see. Dude, the armor that Jin has on. Whoo! Looks so freaking nice. Mongol archers guard the gate. Patrols ride in and out all day. If we can get in from this side, Yuna and the rest of my friends will hit them from the south. Yuna will be there? Alright. The fort was built around the cliffs. We can use them to get inside. Woodcutter camp. Supplied lumber to the fort. Haven't seen anyone there since the Mongols showed up. How good are you at climbing? Better than average. Wolves at the gates. Is that the fort they're talking about? Jesus, that is a long way. All right, looks like we gotta head on over there. Time to head for the woodcutter camp. Okay. Yeah. Back away from the edge. I'll be right up. Sure you Did you see that? Okay. has got some interesting friends. Let's plan our attack. We can see inside from over here. Archers on that ridge will have a good view of the courtyard. And plenty of targets. The bulk of our force should go there. We'll get on that roof. Control the high ground. You sound like Yuna. She was a good teacher. <laughs> you men with me. 
Everyone else, get to the ridge. If the enemy sees me, take them down. Understood. Good luck. Who will face me first? Please tell me that's it. For now. Like, I know there's gonna be more along the way. What sort of animals would do this? The Mongol kind. The woodcutters must have risen. Jesus them. Christ. Let's kill every bastard in this fort. Another patrol. We'll ambush them when they come through. Hide. You heard him. Move. Open fire on my signal. <laughs> Now, kill them all! I don't know what I clicked because I was so focused on combat, but hey man. Alright. Why aren't you leaving that? Lord Shimura has his plan to fight the Mongols, and I have mine. You're on your own. This fort isn't yours to give us. The Jito is at his castle. He'll have no need of this place until... That came from the southern gate. Let us see what's happening. You know... Oh, shoot! We have to get over there. Let's get a look at the bridge. The Mongols have the forces over there. This is our chance. If we charge across the bridge, we'll have to deal with that Huacha quickly. Could you sneak under the bridge with that hook of yours? Take the Huacha by surprise? Yeah, I actually could. I could grapple onto the tree and swing across. There's a way up the cliff on the other side. If they spawn, oh my God, we can hit them Charge across or sneak over. Either way, it'll be risky. We'll follow your lead, Lord Sakai. Get your people ready to move. Bro, there's enemy reinforcements hanging from underneath that bridge. Oh, Lord, man. I'm not gonna lie, swinging on those with the grapple hook, it really does remind me of being able to do such a thing in Sly Cooper. Which, by the way... Stay tuned to the end of the video, I do got some news to share. I definitely got some news to share in regards to Sly Cooper that I really think you guys are going to love. Oh, my God. 
Anybody else? Come on. Is that it? Jesus, man. They're taking a lot of hits. You know what? I think it's time to try this out. Woo! Gotta love the ghost stance. My lord. Is everyone all right? Never better. All things considered. There they all are. Good to see you, Lord Sakai. Uh, um, is it this cold everywhere up here? <laughs> You'll get used to it. Take any supplies we need and prepare to ride for Jogaku. Jokagu. So, you and Takeshi. That was my old life. He and his people are more than hunters, aren't they? Depends on how you look at it. I told them they can stay and hold the pass for us. But I don't want bandits making trouble for innocent people fleeing the Mongols. He knows what I'd do to him if they tried. I think he's been looking forward to seeing you. He's seen me. We can go now. Let's get everyone to Jokaku. We'll plan our final attack from there. It's time for the Khan to die. Hell yeah. Wolves at the gates. We reunited with our allies, man. It's been a minute. Oh, wow. Okay. So we can finally head on back over to Tsushima Island. That's what I like to see, man. Okay. Thankfully, now that we've reunited with our allies, we could freely roam around the rest of Tsushima Island as much as we can. All right, now that we've gotten our allies back together, we can figure out exactly how we're going to pursue the stronghold that the Khan is holed up at. How are the others? Ready to follow wherever you lead. The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. And we know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense. How to get past them. And where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Port Izumi. Port Izumi. We'll have a better view from the lighthouse. Just need to get up there. Without being noticed. Let's move.
Whew. Look at that view, man. Such a breathtaking open world Tsushima Island is. Why would the Khan come up here? He'll sail for our mainland. Attack it, just like you did here. This is our last chance to stop him. These flowers? The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? I took a risk, and my poison saved thousands. What if it kills thousands more? We have to stop the Khan before it comes to that. You're right. We need to kill him. Soon. We can't get in the front, but we could climb around the cliff. And sneak in through the back. Lead the way. Okay. Still got some more to roam around. I almost messed that up because I clicked the square button a bit too early, but thankfully I was able to assassinate him. See, with these bigger enemies, I keep thinking that I'm going to perform a critical strike rather than just assassinate them outright, but thankfully that's not the case. Alright, so far so good. Still gotta sneak into that lighthouse. Right here. Ooh. That was close. All right, we made it in. What's in all these barrels? Supplies? Flowers. Poison. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. The Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. We'll scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. Just get these. Oh, wait. Okay. Now we got those. Jesus, there's so much more. How much do they really need? has an open sight line to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Yeah. Caught them would send horsemen to outflank us. See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly in them for shelter. The harbor master's estate. The Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks and his fleet. Makes sense. The Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. The ship's full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here, the Shogunate will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the 
The Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. <laughs> we'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi. Kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. Okay. We found out a variety of different ways of how we can attack the Khan stronghold and finally come face to face with him. But we still have to figure out exactly where specifically we could plan our attack. So by the way, I took the liberty in doing a little bit of side activities in my spare time because I wanted to enhance Jin Sakai's abilities, but also upgrade various parts of his armor to an extent. I was able to do so with this armor, but I want to show you guys this. Now look at this. This is basically like a conqueror's type of armor that's for the Mongols. I ended up getting this while doing some activities in my spare time, but bro, look at this freaking thing. This looks so freaking nice, dude. Holy shit. By the looks of it, it looks like this armor is pretty damn heavy to wear, especially okay. since there's so much stuff on it from the looks of it. But either way, this thing looks pretty damn cool to wear. Oh, the plan's coming. Kenji found where we can steal watches from the Mongols. I'm heading there now. That's a good start. But we need more fighters. No. My uncle wants the Khan dead as much as we do. He'll join our attack. He'll throw you in prison. I'll write him a message. Leave him in his quarters. In a castle full of samurai. I'll be gone before they know I was there. Wow. So now he's going to try to get in touch with Lord Shimura to get him to reconsider going against him. There. Let's hope my uncle reads it. I'm not letting you leave without a good horse. I can't replace what you lost. I give one of these a chance. Hey. Choose your horse? Digital deluxe horse available? Oh, it's this one! Oh, shoot! You know what, man? Fuck it! This digital deluxe horse will be with you for your entire journey. Sure, man. <laughs> Extra content? Why not? Easy there. It's all right. I'm a friend. What will you name this one? Nobu, Sora, Kaze? I'll pick Kaze. Kaze, swift as the wind. You have chosen to name your horse Kaze, also known as the Wind. This will be your companion's name for your entire journey. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Good choice. How will you get inside your uncle's castle? I grew up there, and I still remember every hidden path through those old walls. Even as a boy, Lord Shimura couldn't keep up with me. All right, so now we gotta get inside Castle Shimura and leave a message for Jin's uncle to try to convince him to join Jin to take down the Khan. Because, yes, Jin and Lord Shimura, they may not be on the best of terms right now, especially since Shimura had to toss his own nephew into prison. At the same time, they still have a common enemy, that being the Khan. Uncle. Jin, why did you run away? I wanted to catch an eel for your dinner. Were you planning to catch it with your bare hands? 
Rizzo said you'd get rid of me as soon as you had a son of your own. Jim, come here. Your friend is wrong. The path ahead may take a lifetime. But I will walk it with you. Always. Let's get in there. I was able to notice how I could get in there from afar. I see a little rock climbing spot, like right over here. Be careful, Ghost. The samurai are watching for you. Gotcha. I was gonna fall. If I attack the guards, that will prove I'm the monster they think I am. been a minute since I was last here, but these guards, they're on high alert, so I gotta be careful. I do like that you can go underwater for a little bit to try to like hide from the enemies. The bridge. I will find a way to make sure I'm not seen. still got a long way to go. Well, not a long way, but just a little. You know what I mean. Not a 
escape us again. If Krogbar can help you, you can do it. Of course, Chuka. I will be the first watch. Quarters are on the top floor. Now is my chance to get up there. All right, we made it all the way to the top. It was a bit tricky, but I figured it out somehow. He's here! Guards! Uncle, forgive me for not facing you in person. The Khan's fleet has gathered at Port Izumi. His ships are loaded with poison that will devastate the Shogun's army. But when the next storm arrives, I plan to kill the Khan sink his fleet. I ask that you join me. I hope we can meet again. If not as father and son, then as warriors who have walked different paths. Whatever you believe I've become, I will always be your family. Right, we went back inside Castle Shumara, we left a message for Jin's uncle. We can only hope that he will agree to join Jin in his pursuit to kill Kotan Khan. Before I end the video, I do got some news to share. And believe me when I say, y'all are gonna love what you're about to see. If you guys recall back to late summer of this year, I ended up doing a series where I made my return to Sly Cooper in the Thebius Raccoonus. I decided to do a series on that game, especially when it was available for the PlayStation 5. I figured, you know what? Once more for all time's sake. I was really hoping that the next two games in the trilogy would be available for us to be able to play on either the PS4 or the PS5, but we haven't heard anything since. Until now. This is a blog that came to us from PlayStation that was posted earlier today where they have announced that we are happy to share the first reveal of a trio of PlayStation Classic titles joining PlayStation Plus Premium's lineup in December, all of which help celebrate PlayStation's 30th anniversary. Starting December 10th, members will be able to complete the PS2 Sly Trilogy with the release of Sly 2 Band of Thieves and Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves and also enjoy Naughty Dog's PS2 adventure, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. We'll have more news on the full PlayStation Plus game catalog and premium lineups later. There you have it guys! Sly 2 and Sly 3 will be joining the Classics catalog for PlayStation Plus, therefore we'll be able to play the entire trilogy of Sly Cooper games on either PS4 or PS5. Dude, I cannot begin to tell you just how freaking happy I was when I saw this news. Like, this was the first thing, this was the first batch of news that I woke up to earlier today. Once again, Starting December 10th, for anybody who is a member of PlayStation Plus, especially those that are of the premium tier, the next three games that are going to be added to the Classics catalog of the subscription service will be Sly 2 Band of Thieves, Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, and Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy. We'll finally be able to have the full Sly trilogy that will be playable on both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I am so looking forward to eventually getting my hands on those games and just finally playing them 
on the modern systems. If you guys want to check out the rest of the blog, I'll provide a link to it down in the description for you guys to go and check out for yourselves. But with that being said, if you guys are looking forward to more videos in our series on Ghost of Tsushima, please be sure to drop a like on the video, but also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, and you're more than welcome to do the same if you happen to be watching this on my Rumble channel. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.